Hey, I'm Brian Brown doing. And I'm Chris Van Meter. And you're watching the Versus series brought to you by StarCityGames.com. Hey guys, I'm back from a long hiatus, back again for some versus video action, and we are going to be battling with some sweet standard decks today. They finally let you out of Canada. Yeah, they finally let me out of Canada. Their pun count was low, so they wanted to keep you there embargoed for a while. Yeah, they, they had me stalled at the border. Uh, I had to make like 15 puns an hour. <laughs> <laughs> like people, are, people are talking about like you know McDonald's workers getting $15 an hour. I was forced to make 15 puns an hour. I don't know if it's the same thing, but... I don't, that's actually pretty hard. It is actually pretty hard. They don't come easy. They don't. No. But uh, anyway, yes, yeah, standard magic. That's what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna be battling with some sweet standard decks. I am playing a Abzan aggro deck. Shocking, I know. Uh, that I wrote about in my article last week. So if you wanna check that out on Star City Games, I talk about why I'm playing the cards I am. Um, basically, the big difference is that I've cut Heroes Downfall and Rock Shots the Death Dealer from the deck. Uh, doing this really improves the mana base a lot. It makes your games a lot smoother where you don't have to rely on double black. Uh, and you also don't have to have awkward hands where you have like a planes and a death dealer in play and, and things like that. Uh, it just makes things a lot smoother. And instead I have den protectors and hanger back walkers. Um, good hanger cards. Yeah, both <laughs> both very good cards. Uh, den protector I actually think is just a better two drop than death dealer. Like if I could just cast one of them on turn two, I actually think the den protector often is just better. One, you don't have to invest any more mana into it. Um, and two, with things like Dromokus Command, Abzan Charm, Anafenza, and Ajani, it actually gets to the point where it becomes unblockable. Like, a lot of the issue with Death Dealer is that your opponent can sometimes just chump it for a really, really long period of time. Um, or even do things like block with a Corsair Crew Fix, and now you're forced to spend two mana to pump it to kill their Corsair. And then next turn they play, like, an even bigger creature. Yeah. And now you're just falling further and further behind without advancing your board at all. And Death Protector has the same utility... Uh, that Death Dealer has where it's a good creature early but also not a dead draw when you draw it on like turn 10. Yeah, so. like Den Protector is good on, is a 2 drop, a 3 drop and a 5 drop really. So it, it's good at all points in the game. Um, probably just one of the best cards in standard. Yeah. And then Hangerback Walker is a card that I haven't played that much with in this in this shell but it's really good against a lot of decks and it's really good with a lot of the cards in the deck. So Command, Abzan, Charm, and Anafenza, and Ajani, again, are very good with Hangerback Walker. Yeah. Being able to put a lot of plus one, plus one counters on it just means you're going to get a lot more Thopters when it dies, uh, which just is really, really good against a variety of decks. Uh, I had a match against Bant Heroic the other night where basically Hangerback Walker let me soak up about 30 points of damage, and then I eventually was able to win with, like, Elspeth out of my sideboard. So uh, really the, card, the card's been impressive so far. Um, but yeah, the list looks a lot different, but I, I like it a lot more, so let's see how it plays out here. Uh, what are you battling with? Speaking of Hangerback Walker, Ooh. I also have a deck that just kind of jammed it in there a little willy-nilly. I'm playing the Black Red Dragons deck that top aided this last weekend at the Grand Prix in San Diego, uh, which also an Abzan Agro deck also top aided right. in that Grand Prix, so not too surprising to see uh, that sort of thing happening. But yeah, this is... Uh, I've, I haven't been a big fan of the Black Red Dragons uh, archetype. Uh, I've been on Green Red for you know as long as I can remember. Uh, but I like Black Red better than Mardu, because you just get to play two colors and be more consistent. Yep. And the big appeal for Mardu outside of Crackling Doom was Seeker of the Way and Soulfire Grandmaster. Just straight Black Red doesn't really have any very good two drops to kind of fill that early role, and Hangerback Walker does that very well. I'm also uh, surprised, well, I don't want to say surprised, but Abbot of Carol Keep is another card that could also fill that role in this type of deck, so we have a lot of different options if we want to stay two colors instead of spreading ourselves a little thin, but I'm going to be playing the Black Red Dragons deck that top eight of the Grand Prix. Yeah, Abbot does actually seem like an interesting addition, could be, could be really good in that. Uh, but anyway, let's jump in, get to the battles, and see what happens. All right, we're going to jam the old sevens game. See who goes first. So first person roll seven loses. All right, I'll lose. All right, I will go first. Before we start, I do want to point out this task per mat is not available this weekend because we'll be in London for the Grand Prix. Yeah. Uh, but you do have Charlotte next weekend, and then that's, that's it. it. Yep. So Charlotte will be the last weekend that you can get Old Tacitpur the Golden Paw. 
I'm glad you paused me on two cards because they are a delight. <laughs> My first two cards were great. And the rest sucked. This is probably the most fitting hand that I have ever had in versus series. I hope it's like mountains and bioblades. No, it's swamps and rabble masters. No, it's just four lands and three stormbreath dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I think I almost have to keep it because one of them is a temple. Stormbreath is so good against the majority of decks. Um, yeah, why not? I'll give it a shot. Let's All right, see what happens. I'm gonna keep mine. It's a, it's a hand. All right, well, we're gonna scry. And that's gonna go to the bottom. Go ahead. All right, draw. It's a very good chance I just get outpaced this game, but and I'll play a warden. You're yeah, good. Yeah, we're probably dead. Your turn. All right, and draw. Hmm. All right, attack you for just one. Nineteen. And I will play a Hangerback Walker. Your I think turn. You got it. Wish I had drawn that last turn. Would have been very nice. I think that I just play it here, though. Come on, top deck. Come on, top deck. Woo! White source for your Dramokas command. Woo! That was a good draw. Um, take a point and cast Anaphones of the Foremost. Alright. And then I will go to combat and... Let's see, what do I want to do? Ah, eh, send them both. Hmm. The reason I played Anna Fenzer first here is because he doesn't get a token off his hanger back. If he blocks. Yeah. Because it gets exiled instead. Hmm. I think that... <coughs> here I just want to take the two. So you're at 17? Yeah. Alright, your turn. Alright. I'm gonna fetch. 16. I think that while he's tapped out, I want to just downfall the Anafensa. And then I'll pass. Alright, well that was really bad for us. We this is the first time I've played Hangerback Walker <laughs> versus Anafensa, so I'm not sure what the right timing is when I'm wanting to use these removal spells, but I think I'd rather just do that. This is an interesting spot. It's not really very profitable for me to attack because he can just level up his hanger back <coughs> and block. Little hanger back girl. Which would set me hanger back myself, so I will just, just play, play Cedra now. Taking one and then draining. So, so I go to twenty one and you're at thirteen. Yep. And I'll say go. I will level up. Okay. good. Alright. <laughs> this is just real fitting. <laughs> uh, Alright, well I'm going to play one. Alright, there's a dragon. And just decide what we want to do here. I don't think that racing is 
where we want to be. So I'm just going to pass the turn. Alright, so I want to happen draw. <laughs> Not what I wanted to draw. Alright. Alright, I'll scry and bottom that. Works for me. <clears throat> and I don't really have a good attack here, so I'm just going to play Fleece Man. And. I'll say go. Alright. You have two cards? Yep. And yeah, offensive would have been absurd this game if she was in play. Yeah. She would have done some real strong work. Alright, well. I think that I just play one of these and sit back again. If I had leveled Warden instead of playing Hangar Rack, it would have been better for me, too. This game, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah, it definitely would have been better. A judgment call, but just would have worked out a lot better. Although, like, if you level a warden and I just have a removal spell, you're just That's beh true. behind at that point. Yep. Huh. So, I think, like, playing this doesn't really do anything. Um, but I can play this. If I attack, I can attack for 8, which puts him at 13, which isn't a magical enough number. Let's play another Storm Breath Dragon. Okay. And I think that I can afford to attack with just one. So it doesn't, like, the numbers don't line up for it to, uh, like, try and kill him next turn. But I think it's, like, I can. I think I can afford to attack with just one Storm Breath Dragon here. Okay. So I'll attack. So I go to 17. Yep. And then it's your turn. Now I can either level my Hanger back or level my Warden. And I think I'd rather level my warden here, so I'm gonna take a point of damage and make this a three three. So it's sixteen. On top and draw. Wasn't I exactly guess I took that into consideration, <coughs> but wasn't exactly what we wanted. Um alright, so I'm gonna play this and play this. Johnny Menzel. Yep. And we'll see. Um right, tick it up to five. <laughs> and I gotta figure out exactly how to do this here. So Rhino's already fine because it can already attack and not die. Unless he double blocks. Um So I don't really need to do much to Rhino. I wanna get Fleece Main. Well, maybe I just don't attack with the Fleece Main Lion. Maybe I just don't attack with the hanger back. I also don't really want him to get counters or get Thopters himself, but I think that that might just be like a necessary evil. So I think I want to put one counter on on Hangerback Walker, and then two counters on Warden. Makes him a five five. Yeah, makes him a five five. Uh, and then go to attacks. Okay. Um, and then I think I just attack with these three. So this way, like, by putting only one counter on hanger back, no matter how he blocks the hanger back walker, I get to make Thopters. So if I put more than one counter on it, he can just block with his own walker, and it just doesn't help me at all, because I actually want the Thopters against the Storm Breath Dragons. Um, so five, six, seven, we'll put me at six. So the options that I have here um, are I can either eat his Sea Trino, and lose my hanger back walker and get two thopters. And then I take five, six, seven down to six. 
Um, or I could just block here and chump here. But I think I would rather just get his Rhino off the field and take an extra 5 damage. Because he doesn't get trampled until the very end, right? He gets trampled the next time. Oh, he does get trampled the next time. Okay. So it's a little different. In that case, then, well, you're at 16 now? I am at 16 points of life. Yeah. Yeah, we'll block here and here. Okay. So you'll take two? Yep. Th down to 11. And you get two thoughters. Yep. And I will pass the turn. Had I, oh, I think you're just dead now. So had I had, had I thought about you leveling this instead of this, then I could have attacked with both Stormbreath Dragons and then been able to kill you. I mean, I could have played differently 12, if you yeah, didn't have it. Yeah, you just played differently. I just drew call again. I think that's lethal if I dash. Uh, so that's gonna be. F oh, it's whenever any dragon attacks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely lethal then. So. How how much damage is this? All right, so, so this is so this is three six nine just from the. Well, it er, er, all your guys. All right, so it's twelve thirteen fourteen, and then just it's just from the and triggers. then it's and oh. then it's three six nine twelve fifteen. So it's twenty nine damage. How, how much how much life do you have? Uh, sixteen. All right. I guess I'm. Sadly, I I think this wouldn't be good enough if you would have gained a hundred off of a Johnny, but. Sadly, I wasn't at that point. <laughs>